how to combine the multiple Excel spreadsheet just into one. Here I have three different spreadsheets, here the first one, and then here the second one, and here in the yellow color the third one. I need to combine all these three spreadsheets just into one. Why I need to do it? Because instead of just looking for spreadsheet by spreadsheet individually and manually, one by one, I can just combine all these three spreadsheets just into one single spreadsheet, and then I become much more easy to analyze the information, to analyze the date. So here I have my new spreadsheet that is blank right now, and I need to, that is my report, and then I need to take all these important information, not just all the columns, however, the important columns, and I need to just insert here the columns that are important for me, and then it's much easier to analyze, because instead of just open 3, 4, 5, 10, different spreadsheets and analyze it individually, I can just analyze all the results, all the data set just in one single place. So it's much more easy to analyze and to see the results and to see the data set. So here is a different view. I have three different store locations and instead of just open spreadsheet by spreadsheet to compare to see the results of each one of the data sets, I can combine all these three data sets just into one spreadsheet that is my report. So my report is gonna have all these three data that I have here. To do it, I can just use a simple formula here in Excel that is called equal sign. Just that, okay? Equal sign. And then I need to select the data that I have in my another spreadsheet. So let's say, let's take a look um, on the spreadsheets that I have. Let's start here with the first one, the star A1. And here I have the date the ID of the product, the product itself, and the total. Um, I don't want to use all these columns. So let's say here I need to just use the column C and the column D. So here in my new spreadsheet, my report, I can just use the equal sign to import the data that I have in another spreadsheet. I don't need to use a, a function or a formula to do it. Equal sign in whatever cell we want. And then I go to my spreadsheet. The spreadsheet is star A1, and then I go select the column C, for example, and then I'm gonna press enter. That way, it's just bring to me the first cell of the column that we just select. One important thing to just change here is instead of just using these two dollar signs that I have just before the letter and before the number, I just gonna use here. Uh, I'm not gonna use any of these dollar signs because the dollar sign just is used to lock the reference. However, here I don't want to lock the reference. I'm just gonna use it the way it is. Cell C1, okay? Enter. Now if I just click, hold and drag down all the way here to, call, to row 20, for example. Now we got here the result of our entire column that we have in the other spreadsheet. However, let's say every day or every week the spreadsheet receives more rows, it get uh, new rows every single day. Uh, every day you have a person in your team that are working with this spreadsheet, so it's changed a lot. How can you make sure that you may maintain all the information that you need? One thing you can do here, instead of just click, hold and drag down into the row, that uh, exactly the row that you have in the another spreadsheet, you can just bring it a little bit uh, down. So click, hold and drag down a little bit more. So let's say to row 30, for example. If it gets the result zero, it's because there is nothing in the previous spreadsheet. Now we can use here uh, my column B to bring the, instead of the product, now bring the value of the product or even the total value, okay, total a month. So let me just use Ctrl C, Ctrl V. I'm using Ctrl C, Ctrl V because my product and my total are just assigned to each other, you know, so this is why I'm just using Ctrl C, Ctrl V. However, if you just need to use another column, you can just check. Uh, let's say the column G is the column that I need to use in my report. So you, instead of just using Ctrl C, Ctrl V, double click it in the cell. Instead of using the D, the column D, you can use the column G, for example, okay? So let me stick with the column D, click, hold and drag down or double click it. Now I have first spreadsheet, it's done, so I can even close it. Store A1, and as you guys can see, even if I just close the, the spreadsheet, the, the result is still here, so it's keeping taking the result, taking the data, so it it's works. Another thing that I can do here is just to 
take the another column that I need to use. So let's say here in the column D and then column E, I'm gonna use this another spreadsheet that is the store to. So let me just select the equal sign and now I go here to my spreadsheet A2, I go select the product, the, the C1 cell here and then I'm gonna press enter. And as we just saw before, I can read off these dollar signs, enter, control C, select a, a bunch of rows here, control V. Okay, now we can move on to the last spreadsheet that I have equal sign and then I'm gonna select here my spreadsheet, the product, enter. Uh, let's just read it off these dollar signs that is appearing here. Okay, control C and then select a bunch of rows, control V. Now instead of just analyze uh, spreadsheet by spreadsheet, I can analyze everything just in one, in one place. So it's much easier to work that way. And as you guys can see here, I just have one Excel file open. So even if you close the other Excel spreadsheet, it's continue, it's keeping, keeping pushing the data for you. So it works. And the only thing you cannot do is just to move the, the files to another folder, for example, to another directory. Of course, you can move your files to another folder or to another directory, let's say the way. However, if you do it, you're going to need to update your formula to make sure it's continue to works. Here, one last thing that I need to do is instead of just check manually, uh, data set by data set that I have, this couple of columns that I have. So let's say here, I need to see how much I sold uh, from the item 01, for example. Instead of just checking it manually, here I have the item 1 that sold 7k, for example. And here I have another one that is the same product, item 01. And here I have another one. So instead of just checking manually, column by column by column, I can try to use a function or a formula to just combine all these three different data sets just into one single data set. So instead of just looking for different uh, data sets, I can just look for just one single data set. So I can use, for example, a VLOOKUP function or a XLOOKUP function to bring me, for example, if I have here a column with the products and then I have the item. O1, for example, I can of course control C, control V in all the products that I have and make here my list. So let's say I have here item 1, 2 and item 5, let's say, and I need the total, the total of all the totals. So I need to add the column B to the column E to the column H, for example. However, like it's out of order, the item 1 in the first data set is here, and then the item 1 is here in the middle, and then it's here down below. So I cannot just sum by rows. I can firstly organize all these informations before I can make some math here. However, how can I do it in a smart way? I can use, as I said before, VLOOKUP function or XLOOKUP function. Because look, if I use here the equal sign, VLOOKUP, I can bring back what is the total of the item 01 in the first data set that I have. So the VLOOKUP function is going to look up for the item 1 and then it's going to bring me back the result that match with the product that I'm looking for. So I can do it with the VLOOKUP function. And then we're going to go to the result and we can add this first VLOOKUP function with another VLOOKUP function that is for the second data set here. And then we can make it one more VLOOKUP function to add to all these other VLOOKUP functions result. And that way we can just combine all these multiple data sets that we have here. So let's get into it here. Equal sign VLOOKUP function or XLOOKUP you can use too. What is my lookup value? My lookup value is the item 01 in this first row, for example, comma. What is my table array? My table array is gonna be column A and column B, I'm gonna select all the column A and all the column B. And then I'm gonna use, for example, here, comma, again, what is my column index number? So as my range is this range right here, my column A is the first column and my column B is the second column. If I have a large range, let's say, uh, yeah, we just need to keep counting, okay? So if my range is all these columns that here, for example, I have in the first one is column number one, number two, number three, number four, and then a number five is just to keep, in, keep just keeping counting, okay? 
So the number that I need to use here is the number two. Come again, and I want uh, exact, exact match. So let me just double click it, press enter, and okay. I got here the first result. However, I don't just need the first result of the first data set. I need all the three combined. So I need this one right here too, and also this one right here. So I need to just add one to each other. I can do it, just double click it in the function, in the cell, and here I'm gonna append another VLOOKUP function. So plus the, the plus sign, VLOOKUP function, double click it or press the tab, and then I'm gonna use the lookup value again, comma. Now my range, instead of I use the column A, B, I'm gonna use the column D to E, for example, D, E. Comma again, my column index is is two again because as my range now is this one right here, my reference in the first column is the column D, and my second column is the column E, and so on. Comma again, uh, ex exact match, double click it, close parents, and append another VLOOKUP function to just add the second data set that I have. So my lookup value is this one right here, comma, my table array is these two columns, comma. And my column index number is number two, comma, and my look, look up, uh, range lookup is, I want to use an exact match. Double click it, close parentheses, and then I'm going to press enter. So here I have uh, the total result. If I just sum this first item here, the item one, with the second data set where I have the item one, two, and also with this item one that I have here in the third data set, I'm going to get, if I sum all these results that I have, I'm gonna have the exactly same result as I got here. Now to just finish, I can click, hold and drag down to have all the results. Okay, of course I have the item 06, item 07, 08. However, uh, the step-by-step -step is the same. I just need to insert here the product name and then use the VLOOKUP append to VLOOKUP append to VLOOKUP function. I can of course select all the values that I have here in the column L that make up here my column, the total column. Select everyone, click in Home tab and then transform it to the accounting format. I can make the width a little bit larger here. And okay, we're done. So let's say, instead of just open a bunch of spreadsheet, and instead of just use a bunch of data sets here, here, and here, I can use instead just this single two columns to have all the data, to have all the information that I need to see. So it's a much more easy way to analyze when you have multiple spreadsheets in Excel. And of course, you can do a separated uh, spreadsheet to just make your analyze. So let me just click here in this plus sign, new sheet, double click it. Uh, here I can just type it in report, for example. I'm gonna go back here to sheet one. I'm gonna select everyone here. Control X, Control X to cut, and then I go here to report, and then Control V. Now we can just increase it a little bit, and we're done. Now instead of just using these three data sets that uh, we have before, I can use just this specific table here, the report. I hope this video can help you out, and if you have any questions, just comment down below because it's gonna help you out. And I see you tomorrow, as every day has a new video. I see you there.